First episode of the day, and on this one, we are talking about heresy. Heresy. <laughs> heresy. And people now at the point where they, they use heresy to seek attention of people. It's the actuality show. We do daily Christian commentary videos. Uh, there is a particular man. I don't know he's a man of God or what. I don't even know how people <laughs> actually start uh, listening to people that clearly do not know what they are talking about. But I'll show you the post up here, but I'm not going to talk about who he is. It's irrelevant. It's the teaching that's annoying. All episodes today, they'll be under 10 minutes, so you can watch all three episodes. So check the pinned comments when you're done watching this one. So this is what he had to say. I've told you that Moses did not see God on Mount Sinai. He rather met with Satan. Uh, Jesus never once endorsed Moses' teaching. Jesus always spoke against the the things that happened in the wilderness, blah, 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 blah. Moses did not meet God. He rather met Satan. I got a question. Exodus chapter 31, verse 18, when it says, When God is finished speaking to Moses, he gave unto him the two tablets of the commandment and the tablets written by the finger of God. So first question I would ask is, who, 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 which God is the Bible talking about here? That's number one. Number two, uh, whose finger wrote into the tablet because whoever he met on the mountain wrote on the tablet he will have to answer that one and also even uh, leviticus chapter number 7 verse 38 in which the lord had commanded uh, moses unto mount sinai when he commanded the people of israel to bring their offerings to the lord in the wilderness of Sinai. So the question is, when they were offering, to whom were they? Of course, they clearly offered. Do they care about these little uh, nuances? No, they don't. There are certain points. When you hear a person touch those particular points without acknowledging the rest of the Bible, you must be very careful. They call the fundamentals of the Christian faith. Things like Jesus dying on the cross. These are fundamentals of the faith. These are things that we don't have questions about. But there are people who seemingly wanting notoriety. You know what? Mm, I spoke English. <laughs> I'm getting educated. <laughs> <laughs> this YouTube game. <laughs> and so be careful. It's not about the person this time. It's the teaching and how it can filter into people's th Is that people now have a preference to have a smart idea when it clearly is far from what the Bible says. That's why the Bible says in the last days people will give ear to doctrines of demons is that it comes from a, a, a demonic inspiration. The same way Eve heard uh, the serpent and was willing to listen to that, it would be the same in this modern age where people are more willing to listen to themselves and the devil's message in their ear than what the Bible says. We should rely more on the book, especially in this last days because it's gonna get hectic. It's tricky. Second episode down in the pink comments. Keep it short and I'll see you later.